Hey guys, welcome to Safi Maxed. In this video, I will talk about a common observation about the apparent size of object and would answer the questions why distant objects appear shorter or smaller in size and why the far end of roads seems narrower. In order to understand the actual reason responsible for this effect, we first need to understand the concept of visual angle or the angular size of objects. This can best be understood with the approach of ray optics. To this end, let's go through this presentation. Consider an observer's eye looking at an object of size S. Let us label the ends of the object with A and B. Let the distance of the object from the eye be equal to capital D. Instead of going into the fine details of how a light ray behaves in reaching retina while passing through different parts of eye such as cornea, pupil and lens, I will simply focus on the easy geometry of the ray diagram. For simplicity, I would like to call the different parts of eye collectively as optical part of the eye. A ray from an A of the object passes through the optical part of eye reaching the retina hitting it at position A. Similarly, a ray from in B of the object passes through the optical part of the eye hitting at position B of the retina. The apparent size of the object AB that the observer perceives is of length R. The distance of the apparent size from the optical part of eye is small d and the angular separation between the two rays is theta. This angle is called angular size of the object or visual angle. It is defined as the angle subtended by the object AB at the eye. This angle depends on the original size S of the object and on the distance capital D of the object from the eye. We can easily prove this link by applying trigonometric relation to the figure since the figure can be put into the form of a right angle triangle AMN with angle theta by 2 and height S divided by 2. Therefore, from trigonometry, we know that the ratio of perpendicular and base of a right angle triangle equals tangent of the angle. So, we can put the whole geometry of the figure into the simple equation. That is tangent of theta by 2 equals S divided by 2 the whole divided by D which is equal to S divided by 2 times capital D. From this, we can write theta equals 2 times or tangent of S divided by 2 capital D. However, for small value of theta, this equation can be approximated to the simple form that is tangent theta equals S divided by D. For small theta, we can also write for the apparent size r as tangent theta equals r divided by d. Comparing equations 1 and 2, we can write r divided by small d equals s divided by capital D or r equals small d times s divided by capital D. For a given i, small d is a constant. Keeping this in mind, the apparent size r of the object can be written as r directly proportional s divided by capital D. This equation clearly dictates that the apparent size of an object depends on the distance from the observer which goes to zero 
as the distance increases to infinity. We can observe this effect graphically by changing the position of the object with respect to i. If we move the object away from the observer's eye, it substance a smaller visual angle which in turn results in smaller appearance size or of the object.